हेलो डियर लर्नर्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन सल्फासीटामाइड एज यू ऑल नो सल्फासीटामाइड बिलोंग्स टू द फेमस कैटेगरी कॉल्ड सल्फा ड्रग्स सो वी आर स्टडिंग इट अंडर सल्फोनामाइड्स नाउ सल्फोनामाइड्स इन फर्दर डिटेल्स द ड्रग दैट इज सल्फासीटामाइड सो this name as you can see here it is acetamide right so sulfa acetamide so it is acetamide sulfa is for sulfa drug and acetamide ab acetamide means what acetyl and amide so as you can see here uh, the functional group which is there in the shadow this is acetyl co ch3 and when this cocch3 is attached to the nh this is nh cocch3 this complete nh cocch3 is known as acetamide and this is sulfa so it is very simple to remember this that is sulfa acetamide now in our earlier video also we have discussed this the difference between the dapsone and sulfanilamide now see sulfanilamide is the parent moiety of all the sulfonamide drugs all the sulfa drugs so dapsone and sulfanilamides are the competitive inhibitors but what is the major difference this ring is the major difference now this ring which is not present in the sulfanilamide and the sulfanilamide and dapsone goes like this nh2 ring nh2 ring so2 so2 ring is not there nh2 nh2 so this sulfanilamide moiety as we have discussed earlier also this one nh2 is there and this is one nh2 is there so as you can see in the structure of sulfa acetamide 1 2 3 4 5 6 anti clockwise numbering and since this nitrogen is attached with the first position of the ring and this nitrogen is attached with the fourth position of the ring so these positions are known as n1 substituted and n4 substituted that means this position is n4 and this position is n1 so if the substituents are present on n1 then the uh, sulfonamides are known as n1 substituted sulfonamides and if the substituent is present at this fourth position fourth uh, that means n4 place then they are called as n4 substituted sulfona sulfonamides now as we have already seen the split up sulfa acetamide we will see the complete structure of the side chain this is the side chain as you can see in the picture nhcoch3 that is acetamide and coming towards the iupac that is n1 that means n1 stands for n1 substituted sulfonamides n1 acetyl now see this is the the group which is having shadow that is acetyl and this complete moiety if you will compare with this nh2 nh2 ring ring so2 so2 nh2 nh2 now since it is n1 substituted one hydrogen of first nitrogen is replaced with the functional group so this is n1 acetyl parent moiety that is sulfanilamide and common name will contain acetamide that is acid amide this is acetamide and this is sulfa so split up that is sulfa stands for sulfanilamide moiety sulfanilamide one position nitrogen hydrogen will get replaced and functional group will get attached that is acetamide so this is acetyl so common name if you will see the split up according to the common name that is sulfa acetamide so sulfa stands for sulfanilamide moiety and acetamide stands for acetyl functional group which is attached to the n1 of sulfanilamide then sulfa acetamide sodium structure as you all can see here there are various methods by which we can write the structure so 
this common which we have seen this pattern earlier also this NH2 ring SO2 NH2 है अभी NH2 का now this is since this is sodium you can write it this way that one hydrogen instead of hydrogen sodium will come since hydrogen is also plus one and sodium is also plus one this will get replaced with the hydrogen and the remaining is C this CO CH3 this is CH3 and this is CO so this um, again there are these two different patterns like as you can see here darkened shadow this is sulfanilamide moiety complete till here now two hydrogens were there now since it is sulfacetamide sodium here like there it was there in the earlier structure as you can see here NHCOCH3 will not be there this hydrogen also will get replaced with the sodium so one hydrogen with sodium and one hydrogen with acetyl so you can see the difference over here this SO2 after this SO2 N N Na plus so this will become minus COCH3 this is one functional group and this is sodium instead of another hydrogen now again this SO2 you can write it this way also or this way also simply you can write it SO2 and simply S double bond O S double bond O nothing else difference is there here N Na plus COCH3 and this dot water is uh, this uh, dot water that means hydrated molecule hydrated part water of hydration okay so synonyms as you all know uh, there can be different synonyms for uh, one particular uh, uh, structure so uh, this is a uh, structure like that uh, as you can see here this two red names only will highlight because these are the possible names that means uh, sometimes like if you will say I have written this in exam or some other student will write this in exam so these are not wrong that means one is wrong and one is correct it is not like that but there can be different synonyms so this slide I have included just for your information that there can be many more synonyms for one particular structure now what IUPAC we have seen earlier for the sulfacetamide that is N1 acetyl sulfanilamide now coming towards this synonym slide this is n1 acetyl sulfanilamide which we have discussed uh, in previous slide now this can be written like this way or this way n n1 acetyl sulfanilamide or you can simply call it as this n sulfanil acetyl acetamide sulfanil acetamide so there can be different names see this also n acetyl sulfanilamide so here they have not mentioned N1. They have simply mentioned N. Or else if you will try to look this structure uh, with respect to this name. 4 aminophenyl. Now aminophenyl means what? Aminophenyl. This one is 4 aminophenyl. This is phenyl, this is for amino, fourth position pe amino. So that is the reason. So there are many ways by which you can represent one uh, structure by their synonyms. Now coming towards the properties of sulfacetamide. Properties of sulfacetamide, uh, why I have included this in this video? Because in exam, in repeatedly asked questions, we have seen that for sulfacetamide, wo kon tha roya? Matlab, eye infections may use hota hai. To sulfacetamide pe properties, stability, storage, uses, structure, IUPAC, every everything is important. They have asked the question except the official preparations and brand names. So, uh, we'll uh, see the properties. Property uh, first coming towards the solubility. It is very, um, it is freely soluble in water and sparingly soluble in ethanol. But it is practically insoluble in chloroform and benzene though these are the organic solvents only. Now it is white to yellowish white crystalline powder which is slightly bitter in taste and odorless. Coming towards the stability and storage since it is light sensitive. Now 
due to light sensitivity at uh, this should be stored in light resistant container and at higher temperature also it degrades that means uh, temperature also affects the stability of the sulfacetamide it degrades into its hydrolyzed products that is sulfanilamide since the basic parent moiety is sulfanilamide after the degradation due to higher temperatures it will get hydrolyzed to its parent form that is sulfanilamide and aqueous solutions of sulfacetamide are generally acidic to litmus now coming towards the uses of sulfacetamide sulfacetamide as you all know in the classification the trick to remember the classification of uh, uh, sulfonamides we have seen that sulf uh, sulfacetamide is roya so roya kon rota hai aak so first and for first one foremost very important use is what it is used in the treatment of eye infection as well as conjunctiva injuries now conjunctiva again it's a eye part only that uh, the, that this is the thin uh, matlab thin uh, semi this thin membrane which underlies the uh, eyelids inner part of the eyelids and uh, what you can say the whitish cover of whitish part of the eye so this is a very thin membrane which is uh, semi transparent so that is conjunctiva and if that a uh, thin membrane gets damaged or injured that conjunctival injuries treatment ke use uh, conjunctival injuries ke um, case may be this can be used then 10% solution of sulfacetamide 10% concentration is used in the treatment of acute conjunctivitis conjunctivitis itis is inflammation and conjunctiva that means minor acute con uh, acute conjunctiva it is may 10% solution can be used and also it is used in the treatment of acne seborrheic dermatitis or eczema eczema or seborrheic dermatitis used interchangeably so acne is the very well known term so what is seborrheic dermatitis or eczema it is uh, what you can say scalp uh, um, infection or dandruff you can call in simple terms so it is redness scaly patch or dandruff seborrheic dermatitis is not only limited to the uh, scalp but it can also affect the oily parts of the body oily areas of the body such as face nose eyebrows ears eyelids chest etc then sometimes it is used in the treatment of urinary tract infection that is uti along with Uh, eye infections conjunctival injuries seborrheic dermatitis acne and urinary tract infection it is also having anti inflammatory properties now coming towards the official preparations uh, since it is roya used in treatment of eye infection so definitely it should be there in the form of eye drops so the dosage forms if you will see here it is first is eye drop and second is eye ointment so sulfacetamide sodium i drop ip and sulfacetamide sodium i ointment ip and bpc that means ointment is official in indian pharmacopeia as well as british pharmaceutical codex and i drops are official in indian pharmacopeia sodium salt form to enhance the solubility actually the salt forms are prepared of drug then coming towards the brand names brand names includes bleftein sulfacet sodium cetamide isopto locula albucid cetrid phenosulf and nebasulf so the questions which are asked from the board exam about only sulfacetamide are draw the structure of drug containing acetyl group so you can write the uh, structure of sulfacetamide also then they have asked about the properties and uses then name of any one drug which is used in the treatment of eye infection so only naming will give you one mark that is sulfacetamide since it is used in the treatment of eye infection then iu pack will be given that is n1 acetyl sulfanilamide and from this iu pack you are supposed to write down the structure of this drug so you very well know sulfanilamide this is the unique Uh, what you can say unique moiety uh, which is present in the sulfa drugs none other class contains uh, such moiety uh, so sulfanilamide jab bhi aayega 
it means you are supposed to write down any one sulfonamide structure so now that any one sulfonamide structure depends on the presence of functional group or heterocycle which is there in the given iupac name okay so again as you can see sulfacetamide is really important from the properties usage structure iupac point of view okay with this we finish with the sulfacetamide Thank you.